scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Yes, it's still Short Trips Week. And welcome to Series 5, Episode 5, The Fifth Doctor Story. Yes, I know I keep saying that it's Series 5, but that's because there have been four other whole attempts and variations and different incarnations of the Short Trips run. Here we have The King of the Dead. Now there is an exciting and long tradition of Doctor Who having very, very misleading titles, and the short trips have perhaps the most misleading titles of all, because The King of the Dead is actually a play that's happening while the act is going on. While this story washes over you, this thing is going on in the background, and it's an important plot point, but it's not actually about a King of the Dead. Or perhaps it is. It depends on your reading. Here's the synopsis. When the Doctor, Nyssa and Tegan arrive in 1980s London, they find the current hot ticket is for the King of the Dead, an interactive theatre experience they've inadvertently become part of. The Doctor settles into his usual role, trying to save the day after discovering an alien presence. But it's Nyssa who finds herself dealing with someone who is working from a different script entirely. Yes, that's a nice pitch for a story, but it's the actual meat and bones of the, well, let's call it a performance, the reading that Sarah Sutton manages to provide that really brings the whole thing together. Here, we've definitely got a slice of 80s Doctor Who. It's curious that you've got Tegan always trying to get back to 1980s England, and, well, here she is. She's made it home, and that's just there's barely an eyelid batted, and that's the only thing I've got wrong with this entire story. Yes, apparently they were heading for a different date and time, but the fact that she was always trying to get home, well, let's just live to accept that, shall we? Written by Ian Atkins, directed by Lisa Bowman, and of course read by Sarah Sutton, who played Nyssa, you've got a nice line-up there, producing a very, very high-quality piece. This one was released in May. And, like all of the short trips, currently only retails at £2.99. An absolute bargain. Because this runs at just short of 40 minutes. And it's actually a very, very good story. So I'll play you an excerpt and speak to you all very soon. Probably about Doctor Who. Be seeing you. The three travellers bowed through the short lift applause and then turned to go back inside but several young people in black clothing had appeared and were blocking the way to the TARDIS. From the shadows at the side of the stage, a thin figure in a dated suit gestured frantically to them. With their options distinctly limited, Tegan led the way off stage. As they disappeared into the wings, the man in the suit said, Wait here, Doctor. Julian will want to talk to you. A long-haired, angry-looking woman was clambering over coiled ropes and scenery flats to get to them. The doctor became vaguely aware of Tegan and Nyssa being ushered further into the shadows and then the woman was upon him. Who the hell are you? And how on earth did you pull that stunt on stage? The doctor's winning, welcoming smile suddenly faltered as a thought occurred to him. How did that man know my name? I'm the king's equerry, Joshua Trebunk, the thin man said stiffly as he hurried Tegan and Nyssa along a narrow corridor which had been decorated to look like something from a grand palace. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast, available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audioboom and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 